Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions on Late Night! What the hell am I doing updating a Sims 3 Ambitions on Late Night on a Saturday? I mean, this is bizarre! This is the, probably the first time since the start of this whole LP that I've actually given you two updates to The Sims 3 in one week. But Saturday and Sunday are surprise days. This will hopefully be, to some of you, a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, it's also my way of trying to push towards the end of this LP so I can start Sims Medieval because I want to play it. I like the look of it. Uh, but we're not going to rush to finish it. It's finished when it's finished. Last time we left off, Mikey danced uh, the night away in the Brightmoor for his opportunity and uh, yeah, he met a strange vampire with no shoes on called Kai, I believe, in the club. And uh, yeah... <laughs> How do we, and Jun Su's hairstyle has changed. Somebody noticed this, and I it sort of slipped me by. It probably indicates she, that she's now an adult. So uh, we need to get a move on. We are at work today, but there's nothing to stop us by the time we get home, spending the evening with Jun, trying our very best to get her to move in. We have a penthouse luxury apartment worth a fortune. She's single. Well, she was single, but now she's in a relationship with me. There's no reason why she can't move in. So that is going to be my primary objective for this set of parts. Come hell or high water, she is moving on in. Johnny Five is off to write his chapters of his book. His new book, which will be bound to be a hit. Who shot the sheriff? I don't know. Uh, and yeah, he went out to the park. Tried to socialise but failed miserably. Spent half his time lounging on a swing. So yeah, he's not the socializing type it seems. So uh, I think the next mission for this guy is to go to the local bookstore to buy a book on cookery, master cookery, so that at least his meals are semi-delicious, you know? And uh, yeah, I think he might just have to live his whole life cooped up in here. And life outside these walls just isn't for this man. For this robot. <laughs> yeah, tried to get chat up Stella Striker, as you can see. Went down like a lead balloon. But anyhow. We love him all the same. Good old Johnny Five. Jamie's guitar. Pride of place. In the memorial room. And some more chapters. You keep on working, my friend. I'm sensing a fortune coming on sometime soon. Still looking to write a bestseller. Still looking to write five novels. Wants to master handiness, which, hey, if we have him upgrade something, that's probably going to be easy enough. And he wants to have a drink, so we might take him out to the bar maybe this evening. Wants to make the bed. Learn a new recipe, all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Lots and lots to do. Uh, water, 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 water. I think we need to skip the time forward a little bit. Uh, he needs to get up at Capul right at 12, so he needs to be up at half past 11 at the very latest. In fact, he can probably jump out of bed and go straight to work because his bladder is no longer an issue. His hygiene is fine. His hunger, he had something to eat before he went to bed, so he can probably jump out of bed, whoop, put his clothes on, and straight out the doors. No shower, no toilet, no eating. <laughs> uh, would you do that in real life? Hell, no you wouldn't. But on this occasion, we might just do that. How's the progress bar for this book anyway? It's going up nice and steady. Nice and steady. Just a bit of Bit of fast forwarding, don't mind us. Once again, he sets the keyboard alight with his fingers. There we go. Carpool arriving for Mikey. He's probably up now, thinking, Whoa, I'm up going to work soon. He's going to read something mm. in his underwear whilst he waits for the carpool to arrive. Is that the most productive thing you can do? I don't know. He doesn't like Johnny Five, so he <laughs> leaves the room <laughs> to read his book. Oh no. For your obvious disrespect to your house robot guest, your house robot flatmate, 
putting your book away for you, pal. Think of something else to do. Table football! You know what? Why don't you practice some mixology? Practice some mixology. That's a new thing we haven't done yet. Let's see how his Tom Cruise skills are. Another thing you just have to do in real life. Get up in your underwear. Oh dear. And uh, yeah, go to your nice Hello. plush bar and uh, mix Hello. some drinks in the morning. Why the hell not? Life is not full and complete till you've done such a thing. Answer phone and then go to work. Can't be a hit movie star if you can't mix your drinks. At least so they tell me. Hey Mikey, this is your agent calling. I've got a job for you. Well, more of a charity gig. Sacred Spleen Memorial just called asking me if you come down there and entertain the sick kids. <laughs> Oh my god, didn't Jamie Jones have this opportunity before she bit the dust? <laughs> Let's hope Mikey doesn't go the same way. Right, to work, my friend. When you come home, start with them be inviting Junzu over. Off you go, go on. Off you go, that's right, that's right. Don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. He's out of our hair for a bit. <laughs> Goodbye, Mikey. I'm tempted to have Johnny Five master as many skills as possible. Become the ultimate house robot. He can cook, he can clean, he can write, he can paint, he can mix drinks. Master mixology? Why not? Maybe get him to master a instrument? He could be the absolute master of of the skills. Oh, then again, he could just write books and paint, and that's about it. <laughs> Chat with co-workers. We could do with getting some friendship levels up. We have one friend and one girlfriend and one acquaintance, distant friend. He's not the con sort of conversing type. Doesn't have his mother's, mother's genes in that respect. But he, does he, he, I think he is charismatic though, is he? No, no, he's excitable. Although we've never seen uh, his excitable behaviour, to be fair. Entertain sick kids. Those little kiddy winks need entertainment from a celebrity. Does Mike even like kids? Is he the kid... <laughs> Is he the sort of guy that likes uh, to entertain children? I don't know. Go out on the town. Is that what you really want, Johnny? Oops, he's strained. Okay, Johnny, okay. I feel your pain, my friend. You've been up since the early hours of the morning doing that, so I'll give you a breather. Get yourself a bite to eat. And I will leave you to decide what is the best way to uh, have some entertainment. Ah, it's going to go have a play on the VR goggles. Well, why not? I'm going to the toilet soon, actually. Two days worth of strain. <laughs> Two days? No, as soon as he gets his entertainment up, that should uh, decrease rapidly. Looks like he's enjoying it. Look at the fun factor. Whew, it's going up pretty quick. Up, oh, air guitar. Whoa, 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 where's he going? What the hell? <laughs> Woo! Whoa, 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 Johnny's wingman cried out for help. Johnny turned his fighter and counted the 12 Zerugan Zerugir fighters on his friend's tail. Oh my god, yeah. I want me a pair of those. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I thought it was hilarious too, Johnny. I Oh, don't put them in your pocket. Other people might want to play them. There you go. Don't be selfish now. Other people might want the same experience. 
Anything's possible in these things. Wanna fly? You wanna spin in midair? No problem. Wanna walk on water? Ha <laughs> ha, your wish is my command. Oh yes, I remember Mikey put the laundry in here. Let's get the laundry out. There we go. Get out the clean laundry. Ah, all our clothes will be will be nice and fresh. Okay, right. As I said, Mr. Johnny Five, it's time for us to go and learn some skills. So where is the bookstore? There it is. No, it's a restaurant. Uh, where is that place where you go and eat? Get to the Civic Plaza, isn't it? City Hall. Give me a moment, folks. I'll get there in the end. It's near a spa. It's a bookstore and a spa, isn't it? There you go. Shop for books. Okay, there we go. Johnny Five's gonna learn how to cook. Look at my plant. What's up to my textures again? There we go. It's having a wee freaky moment. Why is he walking like an old man? <laughs> Temporarily walking like an old man there. There we go. The floating Johnny, off to the bookstore. Now the flames come out of the feet. We're on a roll. Pigeons. Can I catch them? I want to catch the pigeons. Catch the pigeons. Can we catch the pigeons? No. Oops, a daisy. Here we go. Cookery books. We could learn some recipes, like ratatouille, for instance. <laughs> Requires cooking level 1, wear level 4. Add to cart. We've got plenty of cash. I can shop to my heart's content. Shop till I drop. Not a problem. Fish and chips. Requires level 3, wear level 4. So let's get some of those as well. Cookies and cream. Why the hell not? Fruit parfait, yes please. So that's fine. And then we leave ourselves with the rigid, with cheese steaks, which is level five. And all these are too, too much beyond our capabilities. But we'll be level five soon, so yeah, we'll go for that as well. Cobbler's level six. Okay. Skill books. Do, 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 do. There you go. Cooking level one. No thanks. Cooking level two. Why you need baking soda? Or cooking level three. Yummy and delicious. Only when it gets to level six. Right, well, cooking level two f is fine. Cooking level two? Where have you gone? There you go. Cooking volume two. Why you need baking soda? Oh, we can learn mixology. Shaken or stirred? That is the question. Let's have a look what else. We can learn inventing. We can learn mixology. It's all in the paw. Yeah. Johnny Five's gonna have a blast at mixology as well. Why? Why not? 
Life's far too short to not enjoy yourself. Although for Johnny Five, it's probably a lot longer than a normal human life, but still, it's still too short. Okay, Johnny Five's gone wild in the aisles. He spent... Oh my god, wait a second. No way, Johnny Five, is this really you? Welcome, welcome. No, 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 no. You won't be paying full price today. Normally it costs 1,225 simoleons for that collection of books you've just purchased, but for you, half price, 675. Well, blow me sideways. We've got half price discount at the bookstore. Isn't that marvellous? Right, join me next time when the star-stricken Johnny Five will go home and read his new f uh, purchase books, and this time his recognition has left him with a positive moodlet rather than negative. See you soon.